I understand that time time is short, so I'll touch uh, four or five uh, major points that uh, <clears throat> I believe in. One is that uh, uh, the, you cannot underestimate the importance of the relations between uh, Jewish parliamentarians all around the world and members of the Israeli Knesset, because we all deal with uh, uh, the same uh, material, uh, which is uh, democracy. And uh, if Israel stands on, on anything, it stands on, uh, on three legs. The first is uh, democracy. The, at the end of the day, only few democracies in the world. The second is uh, being Jewish. Uh, that comes together, actually, Jewish and democratic. So this is the second land, a leg. And the third one is, is peace. Uh, I, I, there is a tendency to forget uh, at least the last one and to ignore it, but I believe it's very much uh, here, in very deep in our uh, uh, country, in our democracy, in our life uh, in Israel. Uh, while you, when you are engaged in uh, a lot of uh, uh, debates and discussions about Israel, just remember the three legs, and that will help you. Democracy, Judaism, <coughs> and peace. And as I said before, under the pressure from outside, mainly in this special situation from the Palestinians, uh, we tend to uh, forget that Israel has been seeking uh, for the entire history to establish peaceful relations between uh, itself and, uh, and our neighbors, and the Palestinians included. And when there are allegations against Israel that we drop this somewhere, just bring it back and say, yes, we do want very much to see peace in our region. The second point is that we have, an, and you have to uh, concentrate on the young generation, the new generations, not only in the parliaments, but in universities and elsewhere when you have engagements with those who will be in power uh, in the next future. Because uh, the past uh, helps us very much, uh, not only us to uh, remember where we are, but it doesn't necessarily apply to the present uh, generation of young people, generations of young people. And if we don't uh, work with them together, if we do not share with them uh, the very fact that this country is legitimate, that this country was established not because of the guilt feelings of the world, but because of the national legitimate rights of the, of the, of the people of, of Israel, the, the Jewish people, and that should be rem reminded time and again, it will be somehow disappear. And this is something I feel you have to be uh, doing wherever you are, and that's what we are doing in our uh, uh, discussions with uh, other members of parliaments and young people all around the world. Last but not least is the very uh, fact that we are heading towards uh, international uh, discussion about uh, legitimization of Israel and delegitimization of Israel. That will be done in the upcoming General Assembly of, uh, of the United Nations uh, this September. Uh, we need you there. We need you uh, to uh, strengthen your country's uh, positions when it comes to that uh, point. Although we are, uh, we have different positions within the Israeli parliament and within the Israeli society, what to do and how, we are all united that uh, having a Palestinian uh, state unilaterally uh, declared by the United Nations would not be helpful to the peace process. So anything you can do right now will be helpful. Thank you again for coming to Israel, and I'm looking forward to seeing you and meeting with you in the next uh, day or two. Thank you.